Hi, I'm Gavin, and I just want to talk to you about herniated discs because those are one of the conditions that a lot of the patients that I see in the clinic come in with in relationship to back pain. And what they are, a herniated disc, what it is, it's an injury to the discs between the vertebra. And it's generally the lower lumbar discs, which are these. And the discs, as we talked about before, are the spacers between the vertebra. And they're like little jelly donuts that act as spacers and separate the bodies of the vertebra, allowing the nerves to squeeze out in between. And when people talk about a disc herniation, what they mean is... One of these discs has bulged backwards, generally. It goes backwards and starts interfering with the nerves. Um, so when you have a disc bulge, the disc tends to bulge backwards and starts to interfere with the nerves, stretches ligaments, causes muscles to tighten up, creates pain and irritation and stiffness, and sometimes even pain down the leg, which is referred to as sciatica, and sometimes numbness and muscle dysfunction down in the legs and lower feet. Um, so what a herniation is, is when you actually have the jelly substance, which is something like inside of a jelly donut, the same thing is true with a vertebra or with a disc between the vertebra, they have a liquid center and a hard outer coating and what happens is that liquid center bulges out and in the case of a full herniation that liquid will actually burst out and start rubbing up against nerves and ligaments as it comes out the back of the spine there. Um, so then the question is what do you do about it? Um, there's quite a few things that can be done about a herniated disc. Uh, they don't all require surgery. Um, some herniated discs do require surgery because they're so big and they cannot be uh, handled uh, without surgery. Uh, they can cause extreme amounts of pain and dysfunction. But most herniated discs can be uh, handled with physical therapy, stretching and exercise, and time which allows the body to reabsorb the disc fragments and that nuclear material, that jelly-like substance that is squished out of the back of the disc. Um, so a lot of patients of, that I see will come in with herniated discs and they'll be pondering whether they need surgery or not. And the question or the answer to that question is kind of how, uh, what kind of work they do and whether they're going to be able to maintain a reasonable sort of lifestyle while that disc heals itself. And then the next question is, well, what can we do to expedite the healing of that disc? And that involves stretches and exercises and certain things that control uh, the way the posture of the low back is and the core strength surrounding the muscles in the low back. So uh, we'll be talking about that as well. Um, but the main thing that people want most immediately is relief from the pain and stiffness and the pain down the back of the leg. And so uh, I will refer you to some stretches and exercises that I've put in a previous video. Uh, that's a free video. You can go check that out and just click the link below and you'll be able to get to those three free stretches and exercises that you can use to start immediately addressing the pain associated with a herniated disc. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next video.